dealing with race. We are dealing with racism. And that has to be understood. Racist constructions of racialized bodies as lesser, inferior, intellectually less competent, but also disobedient, undisciplined, and dangerous, dangerous, have shaped the treatment that members of these populations have received from state institutions. Indigenous peoples, Black peoples, people of color, and other groups of people who have been marginalized and oppressed were already living in very challenging and vulnerable circumstances. How do we think of transformative policies? Because truly challenging anti-Blackness, as Black theorists have pointed out, is really challenging the fundamental basis on which, as Sheila pointed out, the fundamental basis on which our settler societies were constructed. And that means taking on capitalism. What we have learned so far is that country after country reports that the incidence of infection and death are higher in Black, Muslim, Indian, and Indigenous members of the, uh, of the population. That is higher than the white population. This kind of structural violence documented cross-nationally has its origin, of course, in racialized ideologies dating back to legitimating slavery and colonialism and have been continually renewed in our contemporary times and in such moments as this as a global pandemic for example has so vividly highlighted. COVID reminds us of, of race and, and, and the significance of racism so it's, I don't think it's by coincidence that we are having all these big demonstrations with people wearing masks. And it is an exciting moment. It's a moment where the awareness and recognition of anti-Black racism has exploded. I don't think I've witnessed a moment like this before in my lifetime. This is the only opportunity we have and the only chance we have to do something and we can't lose it. We can't, we can't squander it. Therefore, we're going to have to make our voices heard. We're going to have to, go to make our voices known. So therefore, I see COVID and I see anti-Black racism as providing those opportunities. <laughs>